Hey, I'm Paulina Mendez. And I'm Hector Salgado. We are going to go into some frequently asked questions about Hispanics and Latinos for Hispanic Heritage Month. Yeah, I think we're going on a journey, right? Yeah. Come on this journey with us. And I guess this journey's animated. Paulina, one of the common questions that we get asked is Hispanic versus Latinos. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'd be happy to. So, Hispanic refers to Spanish-speaking people or people from Spanish-speaking countries. Latino, however, refers to people from Latin America, including Mexico, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. So, there are Latinos who don't speak Spanish, and there are Hispanics who don't live in Latin America. But wait, what about Latinx and Latin? Hector, thanks for asking. Spanish, along with other Romance languages, is a gendered language. So for example, there are Latinas and Latinos. Let's say, for example, there were 99 Latinas in a room. As soon as one Latino walks into the room, the whole room is now considered Latino. So Latinx is a gender neutral or non-binary alternative for Latino and Latina to make it more inclusive. So I've gone over Latinx, but there's also Latine. It's still gender neutral and non-binary. It's still very inclusive, but it's easier to pronounce. So for example, we can have amigos or amigues. Hector, let me ask you a question. Is Latino a race or an ethnicity? So race is actually a social construct, not rooted in biology. And ethnicity has more to do with where you come from, your culture, and your beliefs. And with that said, Latino is an ethnicity. All right, well, Hector, do all Latinos speak Spanish? No, and actually there are lots of different languages spoken in Latin American countries. For example, in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Paulina, do all Latinos eat spicy food? Because I know you like spicy food. I do like spicy food. However, not all Latinos eat spicy food. So think about it. Latin America is comprised of 33 different countries. Can you imagine the regional differences of food throughout all those countries? Even just barbecue in the United States. How many different types of barbecue do we have? So no, not all Latinos eat spicy food. Why are there so many Latinos in the Southwest? So the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848 ended the Mexican-American War, and this granted about 55% of Mexico's territory to the United States. So when you look at California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, some of Wyoming, Colorado, and Kansas, you can see a lot of Mexican influence. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. And don't let your journey stop here. 